Hi guys, it's Kelly Latavola here and I'm back with another video for Honey Bee Stamps. Today I'm going to be using the Wish Stamp Set, the Piece of Cake Stamp Set, and the Tea Time, but really only for the spoon. So I made this card for my gram, my graham cracker, uh, because she turned 90, actually. Well, not the day I made this, yesterday. Um, so, but my gram loves ice cream. More than she loves cake, she loves ice cream. So I really wanted to make her an ice cream card, but I didn't have an ice cream stamp set. So clue, Melissa, make me an ice cream <laughs> stamp set, please. So what I'm doing is I'm turning this cake um, holder into a bowl is basically what I'm gonna do here. So I stamped the decorative edge, just the decorative edge, and then I just penciled in the bowl portion, and I'm going to outline that with a Copic Safe pen. Um, you can use whatever you have. I use the EK Success journaling pens, though those have been discontinued, so I will probably end up going back to either Microns or Copic Multiliners. Uh, but anyway, so once the bowl is done, I'm gonna start creating the ice cream, and I'm going to mask off the bowl because my ice cream has to go inside the bowl. So that part has to be masked off. And then um, I'm actually going to use the top of the cupcake to, oh, well, first I got to take, because I want the whipped cream on top of my sundae. So I'm going to stamp that first so it's in the forefront. Um, but I did make an error. I'll come back to my error because I want to get out in front of this sale we're having over at Honeybee. Um, so it's 30, I believe it's 35% off for the 31st and the 1st in celebration of Melissa's birthday. Happy birthday, Melissa. Uh, and thank you for the sale. So it's any Honey Bee brand products because they sell much more than that. But it's Honey Bee items. So that if you're watching on YouTube, that will be uh, linked below. You can go over and head that um, head over. Uh, if you're watching on my blog, it'll be listed on the sale page with all the other um, sale things. So here, I because this is just the top of the cupcake, I needed to make it look more ice cream-like. And really all I'm gonna do is just add one little like circular shape where the bottom of the scoop would be. That's it. I do need to mask this, so I'm gonna use some um, masking paper that I had left over from cutting out the top of the cupcakes um, just to put over that. I can see through it, so I can just outline that same shape and then trim it out. Um, so I said I was stamping the whipped cream first because I wanted that to be up front. Here's where I made my mistake. I actually wanted to put candles and cherries on top of my um, ice cream, and I should have stamped those first because what you want to see the most of, you stamp first, then you mask those items and stamp your background items you know, progressively until you get the part that you'll see the least of. Uh, but I was so excited about making the ice cream that I forgot to do that part. Um, I did it anyway, and I'll show you how I worked around the fact that I didn't mask it. Um, but don't do not do as I do. Do as I say. And stamp those things first if you want to put them down. A um, couple of things to note. Since the move... Um, I have been having audio issues as well as lighting issues with my camera. I don't really know what's going on with the camera um, because it tends to be a true white when I'm actually working in the um, like in the field of view of the camera. But when I, my hands aren't in it, um, it goes to like this dingy yellow color. I don't really know what's happening. I have to look more into it. Um, and then the audio, what happened with the audio happens to me every time. So Microsoft, I'm a PC, not a Mac. I know I'm a rarity in the crafty world, but I grew up with PCs. That's what I'm most comfortable with. Um, but the Microsoft does these updates and you can't opt out of them. And the reason that I shouldn't say you can't, there is workarounds for it, but you're Basically, they've created a situation where you don't opt out of them, so that way everybody's always secure. Back to the card. So I'm going to, now that my ink is dry, I didn't want to erase it right away. I was worried about it smearing. Um, now that everything's dry, I'm going to erase that pencil mark because if you color over pencil with alcohol markers, um, you'll trap it and you won't be able to erase the pencil. As far as the coloring for the ice cream is going to go, I picked some warm browns because I wanted it to look like vanilla or French vanilla ice cream. 
So um, I'm just going to add shading where the chocolate is sitting on top of it, where it's behind the bowl, and then also a little bit of shading where that kind of edge of the scoop would come up. There would be a little bit of shading. Um, but anyway, so Microsoft forces you into these updates, you know, to keep you secure. But when they force you into the updates, they update all of the things. And one of the things that it updates on my computer is the audio driver. And it updates it every time. And it drives me crazy because every time it updates it, it changes the setting for my microphone. Now, the updates aren't all the time. So typically my microphone settings stay the same. Um, but when an update happens, I usually don't figure it out until after I've already done my voiceover. And because my voiceovers are like a wing and a prayer, um, where I'm just talking throughout the whole time, most of the time it's not something that I can recreate to, to do the voiceover again. Uh, cause then I can't remember what I have told you and what I haven't told you because I've already done it and it's just very frustrating. So I apologize. The video, not the last video, the video before that. Um, was very quiet. The last video was more quiet because it was a voiceover that was Eric and myself. So the microphone was in between us. That's why it was a little bit on the quieter side because neither one of us was speaking directly into the microphone. So once I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and color the other one um, the same exact way, the last scoop in the back. I'm just going to skip it because you've seen it. As far as the chocolate goes, we're going to color it so that it is shiny. Um, because hot fudge or your hard chocolate topping or whatever you want is typically shiny. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to leave um, little white highlights where the drips are and then one large one across the back. I will fill in the center and outline the image. Now why? Why would I do that? Because you have to have that contrast in order to make that shine look realistic. When you're doing it and you're like nose to the paper, it's going to look crazy because you're like, I just have these big white blobs. Um, and I know because that's how I'm, I feel when I'm doing it. But when I'm looking at it, doing the voiceover, like I can already see that dimension coming forward. And I could not see that when I was right up close. So E29 is one of the darker browns that are available in Copic Colors. That's why I picked this color family to use because I really wanted to create that contrast. So each time I'm putting the color down, I'm not completely color covering the color before it. Um, and I'm always leaving that white portion there. Now, as I work back through from darkest back to lightest, I'll start to fill in some of those areas so that my highlights aren't quite as large, but I need to leave them big the first time around. Otherwise, I will cover them up just because I'm heavy handed by nature. Um, I did not love the large white highlight across the back. I wanted that to be a little bit more subtle. So I did fill that in with the lightest color. It still is a subtle highlight, but it's not as much as like those drips. I'm going to do the other, well, that's what I did off camera, the other chocolate the same way. And then I'm going to use these warm grays to color my spoon handle here. And this is super easy to look like it has some shine. You're just going to do lines, simple lines, no flicking, um, because the highlight on that would be just straight across because there's no decoration or anything. It's just a flat handle. I'm also going to add shading to um, the whipped cream. Um, with those same gray markers. So anywho, Microsoft updates the audio driver. It jacks the, the settings for my microphone, so I apologize that I didn't check beforehand, but uh, we should be good now. If we're not, please let me know, and I will go back, I will delve back into it to see what I can do. So back to, we, we covered the sale, we covered the audio driver, back to Graham's birthday. That's what the whole card is for. So my grandma loves some ice cream, okay? She loves all sweet things, but she loves her some ice cream. Now, I don't share Graham's love of ice cream, but the one thing that I did get from her, uh, and I don't know if it was like spending time in her household or if it was, um, if it's like a genetic thing, but after I'm done eating dinner, like I have to have something sweet. I'm not talking about like, I don't sit down and eat a whole ice cream sundae every night, but I do have like a small piece of chocolate or one or two cookies. Um, just because like that finishes, I can't help it, that finishes my meal. Um, so I just need it. <laughs> I just need that little, 
And like at my grandmother's house, they had um, my grandfather was the same way. Like loved loved the sweets, and he would they would keep the um, candy in the closet in the front closet. And so after dinner, it was like this little to do, you know, to wait for my papa to go to the closet and get the candy. And then we would, you know, could kind of pick out what we, what we wanted, what our little treat was going to be. Um, so yeah, that's like a fun memory that I have from my childhood because I spent a lot of time with my grandparents. Um, and then I also get my love of games from my grandma. So that was one of the things that I got her for her birthday, um, was some puzzles. So I enjoy games. I enjoy puzzles. I played a, a lot of games with my, my poor grandmother. <laughs> my poor grandma. She, um, she suffered through a lot of kids' games for me. For like a whole summer, I was obsessed with the game Payday. And she would play with me every morning. Like we would get up in the morning. We would go sit out on the carport. She would have her coffee. And this was before I even drank coffee. Um, and then I would have tea, usually. And we would sit underneath the carport and we would chat it up for like hours and she would play payday with me. And she never once complained. <laughs> she never once complained, even though in hindsight, the game was really not that interesting, but I super loved it. Um, we also used to play um, Skippo, Rummy Cube. Um, well, Eric calls it Rummy Cub, but I'm, I've always learned it as Rummy Cube. You tell me, which one do you think it is? Rummy Cube, Rummy Cub. Um, but regardless, we played that a lot, uh, still enjoy that game immensely. And then for New Year's Eve, um, going to my parents and I'm sure there will be games played there as well. Uh, that's usually what we do when we're, um, when we have the time to spend together as a, uh, family, we did the, um, the saran wrap ball for Christmas um, we had been doing it for a long time on Thanksgiving, but this year we did it on Christmas, um, where you have to like feverishly unwrap the saran wrap ball before the next person rolls doubles. And then we also did the one where you put the, um, kitchen mitts on, uh, and then you have to try to unwrap the gift. And that one's really, really hard, like super hard to get in there. My mom was very generous with the tape, though she says she wasn't, I assure you she was. Um... And that's, it's just like super fun stuff like that. But um, yeah, I, I will probably go through my games. I have a large game collection even as an adult. And I've always loved video games. That's always been a thing that's kind of been in my life. Um, my Like my grandmother and I would play um, Nintendo together. Dr. Mario. That was like a big thing that we would play together. Um, but we've always just played games together. And it's something that I is such a fun way for me to remember my time that I have um, that I had growing up with her, uh, because I did, I mean, honestly spend every, every summer with her and she was, um, she was my best friend and I loved spending time with her. And I think now as an adult, it's a big reason why, uh, I have such a heart for senior citizens is because I spent so much time, um, I'm getting teary eyed, huh? Um, <laughs> because I spent so much time with her and her friends and, you know, playing games and, and spending that time, which I'm very grateful for. So she has made it to 90 and she is looking at fabulous. I cannot imagine living to be 90. And I'm sure when she was my age, she probably could not imagine it either, but I'm certainly glad that she has. Um, so yeah, that's that. This is, this is Graham's ice cream birthday card. Um, and she did not, she didn't have ice cream even on her birthday because I made cupcakes. I made her, um, chocolate on chocolate. And then my sister's birthday is just a couple of days before her and hers. We made salted caramel cupcakes. Um, we, like I had a mouse in my pocket. I, I made salted caramel cupcakes and I kind of winged it and they turned out really good. Um, which I don't normally say about my baking, but I was very happy with it. So here I've added some, I outlined it like I usually do, and then I added some white gel pen details. I'm just going in with uh, the R35, which is kind of a mid-tone, to add that to the shadow areas. And then I'm just going to stamp my sentiment from the wish set just right over top of it. Um, it says make a wish, you know, because it's her birthday, and that's cute. And I, I did end up having to stamp it um, two times. I think I need to re-ink my ink pad. Um, here, I don't know what's going on. I probably got sidetracked by my Disney Plus. 
I for years have just listened to music while I card make. Um, but then I recently uh, got to the Disney Plus and I am just tearing through the Disney Plus like it's my full time job. Um, the white gel pen does kind of uh, come through some of the ink. So I did go back in with just a black Copic to cover up any areas where that white was showing through. And then I'm also going to use the black to shade my cherry. Yes, I know that sounds insane, but it was the one spot where I really could not cover up that I had stamped it over the other lines by adding the darker shading, the black, and then blending it out with the R59 and the R29. It did mask that. And then for the candles, I was talking through that part. I just made, um, I made them striped so that the lines look like they belong there. Here I'm pulling a little trick that I haven't done in quite some time to make the sentiment a little bit more legible. I'm going to outline the wish in my white gel pen and then I'm going to glitter all the things because Graham deserves the glitter. Honestly, everybody deserves glitter because glitter is amazing. Um, but I'm using just a clear glitter pen um, to go over the toppings and the silverware. And then that's it. That's the whole card. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you will head over to the sale. Honeybee has amazing products. You won't be disappointed. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye.